Back here on Busted Open, Dave LaGreca, Tommy Rich. In just about 15 minutes, we're going to be joined by Tommy Danucci. Who's Tommy Danucci? Well, Tommy Danucci is a director, and he'll be directing Tommy Dreamer. So I'm really looking forward to talking to Tommy Danucci. Find out what that's all about. <laughs> Back here on Busted Open, Dave LaGreca, Tommy Dreamer. Let's bring in Tommy, award-winning actor, writer, director. He does it all. Mr. Tommy Danucci. Sir, how are you? And thank you so much for the time. Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. I'm I'm uh, I'm really excited to be here and talk about the florist with my man Tommy Dreamer here. What's up, Tommy? How are you, buddy? Nice to see you. Uh, we've had you on the show before. We already kind of gave you your props earlier, but in all your films, you've always uh, incorporated a, a wrestler uh, or some sort of homage to pro wrestling because you're a massive professional wrestling fan. Let's get into the florist for a second here. Talk to me about it. I love doing it. Yeah, we're really excited about The Florist. The Florist is a little bit of an experiment because we're self-distributing this one. We're putting it out ourselves on Patreon, so uh, we don't have to let any of the, you know, the suits of Hollywood tell us what to do. We can kind of control the, the narrative, control the story. You know me, I like dark humor. I've always been a fan of, you know, things that are like, am I supposed to be laughing at this? Is this okay to laugh at? And The Flores is all about a lot of dark humor. It tells the story of a father and son that have this unique relationship. He's looking for a job, and through some mistaken identity, he learns that his dad, who's this seemingly lovable, happy-go-lucky florist, is actually a hitman, and he kills people for money. My character says, well, what the heck, man? I want to in on the family business. How come I can't do that, too? And sure enough, the father and son have this bonding experience and find life through death. Interesting. All right. So, Tommy, how did you get involved in this project and what do you do? Uh, I have been friends with Tommy forever. I just met him kind of right after I left WWE, um, went to his movie set, met. He put me in my first uh, movie, Self Storage, um, and we just hit it off right then and there. We've been, you know, uh, he's my brother. I love him. So he's really paid his dues uh, through through the world of film. Well, I appreciate that so much, Tommy. I love you too, man. And it's kind of funny because your first movie was also my first movie. Self Storage was the first movie I ever directed. And I remember hearing that we had a shot to get you in the movie. And I was like, Tommy Dreamer is going to be in my movie. I was so stoked. So it's it's been a nice run. And I love what you did in The Florist. Uh, Tommy plays basically the leader of a rival hitman faction uh, that opposes my dad's organization. This is an episodic series, so we definitely have it set up so that in the coming episodes, Tommy's character is going to have a, you know, a, a big influence on this thing. You better not get whacked because I want a season two. You're going to be doing the whacking for the most part. Yes. All right. Uh, I always thought he was. With the way the world of media is now, like you're talking about this episodic TV show, Patreon, like you don't have to answer to any executives because it's 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 your creation and you don't have to have it filtered in any way. Is that kind of like the future of a lot of what we're going to see with movies and with episodic TV where it's more of streaming and being a little bit more unconventional outlets? Yeah, I think it's like, you know, like in the in the restaurant business, they call it like farm to table. You know, I think it's like yeah. kind of farm to table for what kind of entertainment you want to watch. Tommy, you would have such pleasure shooting me, stabbing me, poisoning me. I mean, you could probably you probably stay up at night thinking of ways to kill me. This would be right up your alley. I would wait for like you and Bully there and I would go and shoot and they'd be like, oh, I miss Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, Tommy, please just again, just repeat how how fans can follow you, how fans can see the florist. It's it's important. It's an important project, and I, I want to make sure our, our nation knows about it. Absolutely. You can go on my Patreon channel, Tom Danucci. It's just my name. And you just punch in the florist, and you'll see it there, and it's available uh, for a, a $3 streaming fee. Can't thank you guys enough for giving me a minute to talk about the florist. Hell yeah. Thank I look you. forward to you. See and I love all. the shirt, by the way, the Bad Street USA shirt. Amazing. It's a classic. It's one of my all-time favorite shirts. 
baddest street in the whole USA, right? Yep. Further down the block, you get the better it gets. I love it. Well, thanks, guys. (laughs) This has been a blast. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later, Thanks so much for the time, man. Thank you, and good luck with everything. Thanks, guys. Tommy Danucci, Tommy, great spot, and I love talking to wrestling fans. And man, I mean, he's got the shirt, the Bad Street USA shirt. He has the entire complete eighty-two set of those All-Star cards from back in the day. Really good uh, visiting with Tom Danucci. Every LJN uh, big fan, uh, check out his projects. Uh, they're all pretty damn good.